Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 7th of October 1879, the Dual Alliance was formed by Germany and Austria Hungary. A series of three wars in less than a decade had seen the creation of a unified Germany directed by the Realpolitik of Chancellor Otto von Bismarck. Keen to consolidate the newly united country, he turned to diplomacy in an attempt to ensure the status quo in Europe. Despite forming the Dry Kaiserbund with Austria-Hungary and Russia in 1873, a power struggle over territory in the Balkans from 1875 to 78 led to Bismarck playing the role of the honest broker at the Congress of Berlin in order to resolve tensions between his two allies. The Congress was a diplomatic defeat for Russia and it left the Dry Kaiserbund in tatters, leading Bismarck to negotiate the new dual alliance with Austria-Hungary. Although specific details of the dual alliance were kept secret until 1888, it was a defensive alliance in which both countries agreed to assist each other if they were attacked by Russia. Bismarck and Austria-Hungary's Secretary of State, Count Julius Andrassy, also agreed to remain neutral in the case of an attack from another country, in what is known as benevolent neutrality. The announcement of the alliance surprised some observers at the time, who noted the threat that the burgeoning German nationalism posed to the Habsburg Empire. The Austro-Prussian War had only been fought between the two countries 13 years earlier, but the relatively generous peace terms that had been agreed in its wake left the door open to future cooperation. This, combined with Germany and Austria's shared linguistic and cultural connections, ensured that the dual alliance lasted right until the end of the First World War. <laughs>